Hello, welcome to Bryant University. The purpose of this presentation is to provide you with a general rundown of all the tech-based solutions that Bryant has to offer for you as an incoming student. Let's start with the laptop program. The laptop you'll be receiving is an HP X360 830G10. Key features include the 13th generation Intel Core i5 processor, a 13.3 inch touchscreen, 16 gigabytes of RAM, as well as Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 capabilities. The function, or F keys, on the keyboard are set to the media layer by default, and will perform a different command based on the key selected. Selecting the FN key will swap your input back to the function key. This laptop is also a convertible model and can be formatted into different modes based on your need. Please take a moment to look at the different modes that can be used. If you would like, we also offer a pen as an optional accessory for you to purchase. Along with the laptop, you will also receive a Targus backpack with a limited lifetime warranty, as well as a USB-C type charger and line cord. Please note that upon receiving these items, you will have 24 hours to report anything that is missing. For software, Windows 11 Enterprise is included, along with the Microsoft 365 suite. Additional programs include Minitab, a statistics-based application, SAS for data manipulation, and Lockdown Browser for test taking. Please note that the laptop is a Bryant University property until you graduate. If you leave the university for any reason before graduation, the laptop, charger, and backpack must be returned. Laptops are distributed during freshman move-in period, and laptops are included with a limited four-year warranty, which covers any mishaps during normal usage. Remember that you are responsible for your laptop and damages that may occur. The warranty does not cover accidental damage such as spills or drops. In non-warranty cases, you are only charged the cost to replace the damaged part though this may be up to $500. Warranty repairs will be performed with no charge. Please note that there may be an insurance coverage available for dorm contents, though we recommend also checking your homeowner's policy. Never leave your laptop unattended. Secure your dorm room, lock your door, and keep your windows shut. If you are off campus, make sure to take your laptop with you, especially during breaks. In all theft cases, a police report must be filled out before a new laptop can be issued to you. An insurance deductible charge will be put on your student account based on the year the laptop was distributed. Let's move on to device registration and self-help. On a Windows or Mac device, first connect to Bryant University, then the registration site will open. Make sure you download and keep the Fortinac app, then run and follow the prompts. This is a one-time process per device. On iOS or Android, first join the Bryant University Wi-Fi and then open a web browser and search for a website if it does not prompt for registration. Please do not waste your data plan because you're not connected to the Wi-Fi. As a supplemental step, please make sure to disable private address on your cell phones as it has historically caused certain issues for students on the Wi-Fi. For consoles and smart devices, you will have to connect them to Brian Guest. To register them, use the self-service page below. Step-by-step -step guides are also available on the IS website. We also have a YouTube page if you prefer video help. Searching for Brian IT Service Desk will yield the channel, though it is also bookmarked on the Bryant laptops and covers topics such as iPhone Outlook usage and game console registration as mentioned previously. Please remember that nothing is perfect. If you have any network troubles, report them to the IT Service Desk. Any details such as date and time, area, and the device is appreciated. Please be aware that personal printers, access points, and routers are not allowed on the network. Printers can still be used with a USB cable. Some devices that may not be fully supported on the Bryant network include, but are not limited to, Sonos devices, smart home devices like the Google Home, and standalone Roku devices. Let's move on to campus applications and websites. The My Bryant portal is the one-stop shop location for almost all websites. Some important ones include Canvas, where you will find your class resources and assignments, Banner, where your official details such as grades and registrations are located, and Outlook on the web. As a quick note, your Bryant email will only work with the official Outlook app on your phone and computer. 
Ryan students also will have access to LinkedIn Learning for free. Scanning the QR code will give you access to further details on how to initialize it. Moving on to the Microsoft 365 suite, you will have access to apps such as Word and PowerPoint. You will also have 5 terabytes of OneDrive storage, which is Microsoft's cloud-based storage solution, as well as 5 total licenses for you to use across any device you'd like. As mentioned earlier, your account will expire approximately 6 months after your graduation from Bryant. Bryant also has a mobile app for convenient access to information, such as class scheduling and locations, midterm grades, and more. For printing, students are provided $40 of free printing per year. Printing over $40 is automatically charged to a student's account. Each page printed is $0.05, cents regardless of color selection. Once you have submitted your documents through the portal, simply scan your ID at any on-campus printer within 4 hours. There is also a printer driver available for a more familiar and advanced experience. Now let's move on to IS best practices. Regarding AI use at Bryant, responsible usage is encouraged. However, please remember that plagiarism and acceptable AI use does vary by every class and every professor. Your Bryant account does give you access to Microsoft Copilot, which is their flagship AI tool. Logging in ensures your data will not be used for training models while also being encrypted, ensuring privacy and security. For AI guidelines regarding Bryant data, please scan the QR code on the side. Social media has continued to grow and evolve over time. Please make sure you make educated decisions regarding content that you submit and share. Anonymous does not equal untraceable, and short-term content can still be saved. Actions unacceptable in the Bryant community are unacceptable through online methods as well. Remember to obey all copyright and intellectual property laws while accessing websites. Avoid downloading free software from unfamiliar sources. Stay away from get-rich-quick and other too-good-to-be-true advertisements. Avoid illegal and suspicious streaming, betting, and pirating sites. Never provide your Brian account or personal data to unsolicited requests, and never grant remote access into a device. You may sometimes be a target of phishing. In these situations, there may be an imitation of a website or well-meaning person. The links provided are typically very different from what is expected. These inquiries may also ask for sensitive info, such as your address. If anything looks suspicious, always search for the website on your own and remember what websites you have made accounts for. Finally, we'd like to leave with our office hours and location details. We are currently located in the second floor of the Unistructure Rotunda between the classroom entrances, as well as our satellite location in the Business Entrepreneurship and Leadership Center, or BELC for short. Our semester hours are Monday through Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. on Fridays and at the satellite location. You may also call or email us if you would like. We are also open during all break periods with adjusted hours and are here to assist you with all Bryant technology related issues.